kitchen. It's been a minute. Um, over the summer, no one was here, so I had no real need to like make all these big, fancy, elaborate meals. And truthfully, when the summer started, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be making all this stuff, crazy stuff that only I want to eat and nobody else was interested in. But that literally didn't happen. Um, why? Because I got lazy. Um, I didn't have to cook, so I didn't. Um, I pretty much... I'm not gonna say I eat junk, but I did kind of eat some junk food and like not real like meals. So I'm really excited to be back in the kitchen and really doing some cooking. I went grocery shopping, bought all this food, so I have so much stuff to do. Um, so today I'm going to try my hand at a turkey meatloaf, which believe it or not, I have never in my life made a meatloaf before. So this is gonna be my first go at it. So hopefully it turns out well. And I mean, if it does, I'll post this video. If not, you won't see it. But if I do well and I post it and you try it, I would love for you all to let me know what you think. Um, I don't really have a game plan. I have some basil. I was thinking about doing like a basil feta type of meatloaf, but we'll see. So let's get started. Some of the ingredients I'm gonna start with are, of course, I have some ground turkey here. I'm going to put some yellow and green bell pepper, an onion, some garlic, and then I have these roasted red peppers um, and some basil. And that's going to be the flavor profiles of my turkey meatloaf. Well, let's go ahead and get some of these things all chopped up. As you can see, I have everything chopped up really, really small. So um, we're going to be adding an egg and also some panko breadcrumbs. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now you wanna be careful with your salt because feta is already salty. So just keep that in mind. So I'm actually gonna give this a mix before I add in the egg and before I add in the salt and pepper so I can see just how much um, of those things we'll need like if I need two eggs or you know I just like to look at it first oh it's pretty all right crack an egg add in a little bit of salt well quite a bit of salt. I want it to be flavorful, not bland. Some fresh cracked pepper. I love cracked pepper, so it'll have quite a bit going on in there. And let me give this a mix so I can see how much breadcrumbs I need to put in here. Now you can also um, put I'm gonna do breadcrumbs, but I don't have that many, so if I need more breadcrumbs, I'll add in some crackers, some like saltine crackers. So I have everything mixed up, and I'm also going to add in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, or however you say it. I can't ever say it right, just to give it some more flavor. Let's get a little bit more. All right. So go ahead and um, make sure your oven is set to 400 degrees. I have a cookie sheet lined with foil. And I'm just gonna give it a little spray of cooking oil. Just so it doesn't stick or cooking spray. And we're gonna go ahead and form our loaf. 
I'm actually going to use my hands for this part. So. I'm just making sure that everything is nice and even so it cooks thoroughly through and all the pieces are done at the same time instead of like some of it being done the other half not being done even loaf. All right, I'm just gonna put that in the oven and I'm gonna cook it for close to an hour, but I am going to check it at the 45 minute mark and see how we're doing. Um, I read somewhere that the internal temperature should be somewhere around 160 degrees. So I have a little food thermometer, so I'm going to um, check it around 45 minutes and see where we're at. All right. I'm going to make a little non-traditional sauce to go on top of our meatloaf. Since it has somewhat of a Greek feel, I'm gonna make a little tahini sauce. So this is uh, ground sesame seeds or tahini. I'm gonna add some red wine vinegar. A little bit of salt. Like just a little bit because everything else is already salty. And some, and I mean garlic powder, which isn't very powdery because of the humidity here. All right, give this a mix. So it's gonna be like a paste. So what you do is just add some water. basically thin it out. And this is like literally my go-to tahini sauce. It's so good. Oh, and some paprika and cumin. Smoked paprika. And some cumin. Mix all that up. I might have put a lot, might have been a little heavy on the cumin. Just keep adding water until it's the consistency that you want. Just keep mixing that up. I have it all mixed up and it's a sauce consistency. And I just added more water just to thin it out because it's gonna start out, out as a paste. So what I added in here was ground um, sesame seeds or tahini, salt, garlic powder, smoked paprika, cumin and water and red wine vinegar all right here is our finished loaf I actually turned on the broiler at the end to give it a little bit more color so that's why it's all black around here from the broiler so let's see how it tastes I let it rest for five minutes or so and I'm gonna cut into it
All right, our meatloaf is complete and it smells really good in here, you guys. So, I know typically um, meatloaf is served with like mashed potatoes, but my favorite way to eat vegetables are to roast them. So that's what I did. So I roasted some potatoes, some carrots, yep. and then I have some meatloaf. I didn't put the traditional red um, sauce on top because I don't really do ketchup like that because I'm a sugar-free person. So I made a little tahini sauce, which I will post up how I made that, which is really easy. So let's give it a try. really good the meatloaf is not dry that's what I was worried about it's not dry and it tastes really good and it tastes all flavor all the peppers and the garlic and the feta cheese is really good in there that is really good yeah definitely try this um, so I ended up cooking it for about, I would say 50 minutes or so. And um, then I turned on the broiler because I wanted it to be like crispy on top. But it's really good. I served it with, um, well I'm serving it with roasted potatoes and carrots. And then also some wilted um, spinach. And the spinach is just really simple. I always feel like I have to have something green on my plate. You should definitely make this. This is really good. When I was a kid, I hated meatloaf. I did not like it. This, this is good. This is a grown-up version, and it is very tasty. Mm. Yeah, hope you guys like it. If you try this, please leave me a comment. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish eating.